Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this logo. It's not too bad. It's not too fuzzy. It trays quite well. They're wanting to do it for a plasma cutter. Uh, and this would work for a laser engraver too. Uh, it's big enough to work with. So what I'm going to do is just kind of show you how I would do it. Uh, there are some messed up lines that could be fixed, but we want to get the major, and this might take a couple of videos to do. We want to get the major part, so we're going to take the Smart Fill tool. I'm going to go ahead and set my Smart Fill on blue. Hopefully it'll, it'll show up better on your screen. And you see we have that outline. So that's pretty good. That'll be one cut, continuous cut. And if we need to clean it up later, like, well, we won't need to clean that up just a little bit. But if we take the beak of the animal, a couple of problems. Okay, whenever you can't click on something with the shape tool, you've got to go to object order and ungroup it for the shape tool to work. And if we dial in right here, we can see that there's actually some weird lines going on. So what we're going to do, we're going to take that right there and then we're going to take the virtual segment delete key and we're going to delete those extra lines. There's actually a line right there, but that doesn't really matter. Take the shape tool back. There's actually a couple of nodes there, a couple of double line, and that's not going to affect us um, because we're using the smart fill tool. We're just going to fill that in right there and then we're going to take the virtual segment delete key and, and hit that part right there. So that's going to make the other part of his beak and we're going to go back to the smart fill tool and fill that in, fill that in. Uh, your discretion on what you need to do here, you do need some separation um, between some lines. Uh, I'm going to say we could leave those out. And so what we could do here with the smart fill tool or the shape tool is just kind of do what we did before and get this, whoop, get that other line. And we're gonna have to clean that up quite a bit when we get to it. But you can see we have an area, it'll stop right there. So we're gonna take the smart fill tool, fill that in. So that looks pretty much like an eagle. Now, plasma cutter, you only, well, even a laser, when you cut something out, you can't have two circles inside of each other. So we're, that circle is gonna fall out in that part of his beak. We're gonna take his eyeball and maybe just do some other parts, like maybe do that part and that part, maybe that part and that part, everything else will stay the same. We could actually do that and we can join all that together. That looks pretty good. Then you just go through and make these feather marks and you know maybe start on the little ones first and get them done. Don't worry about it if it doesn't fill them all in because we're gonna work with that. You just don't need too many lines connecting each other. Like that right there will work quite well. This right here might work, yep. And you know, you don't need all the feathers, but we're gonna join, you know, you need some separation. So we're doing the back part of his headdress. Let's go ahead and finish up this eagle. Take the smart fill tool and do the same thing on his eye. If we join those together, we can go ahead and while we're here, go ahead and do these parts. And you'll see in just a second what I'm talking about. We could actually join those. We could have that, we could have that. Uh, we could have that. You need the part of his beak and, and we could clean all that up after we're done. Uh, we've got a whoop de doo node there. The best thing to do is select both of them and right click, turn them into a line, it'll take away that. And see, so there's double lines. I should have ran it through my program first to clean that up. Um, we could possibly just go ahead and do that like that. That looks pretty much like an eagle. Now let's go ahead and finish the eagle and I'm gonna show you what I would do um, after this. See, like right there, that part didn't fill in, but big deal. Um, 
you need some separations so the metal will stay together. But we're going to actually join some of these together in just a second. There's part of his headdress again. I'm going to do it like just a little bit more. And I think that looks pretty good. Now, what I can do, uh, if you remember this thing is just a little over six inches, I'm going to set my nudge factor to seven. I'm going to control D or, or just hit the plus key on the keyboard. And then I'm going to take away the line. Whoop, I took away the fill. Right click, no line. Now you just have fill. Now this garbage is still there, but it's really not. So then what we can do is take the ones we have and right click, left click in red. And, but we still have some of the lines, so that's not gonna work. Uh, let's back up here till we just have the smart feel. <clears throat> and probably, um, let's see if we can't combine this. Go to object and combine. Nope, that didn't work. Sometimes the combine tool does not work. But you can see this garbage because it's still there. So what we can do, and this wouldn't be a bad uh, idea, right click and copy it. And we're gonna start a new page by hitting the plus key on the keyboard. Go to paste. Now the only downside in this is that we've, we've moved off another page and we can't just nudge it right back. But now we can go to find and replace and we're gonna pick the blue and from selected and find all. And then we're gonna nudge that, nudge that over. Actually, you've gotta to go to group, I mean, uh, object and group to group them together. Now, as you can see, we've got rid of all those lines. Now we can hit the delete key. And then if you hit your F4 key, it shows you that you just have that. So let's, uh, now we can nudge this back and see if this works. Let's try to combine them again. Nope, combine is not an option. Let's convert them to a curve. I think we've lost part of the eagle's beak. And we can, you know, you can make that better. Let's just do that before we continue on. Let's make his beak a little better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click, left click in red, and you can see our little parts right there. I'm gonna take the shape tool that uh, you'll have if you have uh, X7 or above, and let's just smooth that out a little bit. Now you see there's a bunch of still double lines. That shouldn't really have happened with the Smart Fill tool. I mean, with Smart Fill tool shouldn't have allowed those double lines to come through. I'm trying to just, to, if you ever can't do anything, ungroup it, try to grab that. Well, what we can do, we can nudge that over for a second, delete that, and nudge that back. Now we can continue kind of making his beak look a little more real, and what you could also do, and we could always fill this back in with a smart fill tool. Take these areas that are too sharp, for the, um, let's make our point size 0.25, quarter of an inch, and make sure you select on it. You'll see the nodes and that just looks a lot better, especially in a plasma cutting. Now what we can do to his beak, we can take the shape tool. It's a little tricky, but if you'll just take it and move this node down, and then we can curve these lines. I'd curve the outside one first and then curve the inside one. It's gonna give it more of a beak look. You could actually go a little bit closer. And let's zoom in here. You wanna get rid of this wavy stuff, so let's just delete those nodes, see what happens. That looks pretty good. You don't wanna to do too much. That looks really good. That'll fill back in. Uh, same thing on the other beak. This is a long process and there's people that could, you know, vectorize this in just a few minutes. And, uh, you know, one thing we could possibly try is we could take that unit right there, hit the plus key on the keyboard and get rid of this stuff and then put that 
part of the beak in that bird, we might have to angle it a little bit. Might have to move some things around. I'm just gonna double click, I'm gonna rotate a little bit and then move it into place. We actually need to be right there. So what we can do here is just take our zoom in and take our smart fill or our uh, virtual segment delete key and just, whoop, can't delete that one. So what we need to do is take the shape tool back and just move that out of the way. And then I would move that you, on plasma cutting. You don't want two pieces too close to each other because they you know, possibly burn through. So you could take all these and move them down a little bit. You could actually probably delete those nodes, put a little curve this thing. That looks pretty good. I don't like this thin line right here because that's going to burn away. So we could always just take the shape tool and put a little curve to this. Just kind of give it a little bit of texture. I don't like these two pieces right here together. So we might as well make them one piece like we did earlier. We can just bring that down there, take the virtual segment delete key and delete this. And then once you fill that in, you cannot really do anything with the shape tool. That looks pretty good. Uh, maybe this could be curved over a little bit more. Now, the, the only thing wrong with doing it like this, you can't just take blue and just fill it in because it's going to fill in some weird stuff. So you actually have to use the Smart Fill tool again. And let's zoom in here. Smart Fill tool. That. 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 You know, just go back. You can, and then you'll be able to see spots that you need to correct. So let's back up here and take our shape tool and do the same thing here. Just make them intersected where the smart fill will leak through there in a good way. So now let's take the smart fill tool and fill that in. See how much better that looks. Let's go ahead and finish at least this part of the bird. And like right here, I couldn't really combine it. So if we will do this, then we could combine it or not. Basically, the smart fill tool will combine it. I don't like that little bitty spot right there, but I'm not going to cut it out. It'd almost be better to have these two parts maybe separated. So what we could do is take the shape tool, grab those two nodes and just separate them. Maybe make that a little bit bigger. Take the smart fill tool, fill that in, fill, whoop, I got a leak somewhere. Oh, I see it right there. So always back up. Whoop. You always got to click off the smart fill tool. So let's zoom in here and fix this leak. With the shape tool, just put those two nodes together. Smart fill tool, fix the leak. Now, same thing here. Um, that's a pretty good cut. Um, so let's see what it looks like with the smart fill tool. Or the, there we go. Just separate a little bit. Have some room for the plasma cutter to work. Now those two pieces are two pieces. So what I, you could do instead of backing up, just take the color away from that one, which was a big section and just take the virtual segment delete key and then go back with the blue. Anytime you can have a big piece like that, uh, as long as we remember later to keep it open, uh, so these pieces just won't fall out. And I'll show you in just a second. I'm gonna probably finish this off in another part. Try not to make my videos too long. Get people bored. Let's just keep that out. Let's see if that'll work. Yep. Take the smart fill tool. That's looking good. Now there's a lot of things I would do, you know, clean up a little bit. Um, I've actually got a leak. Whenever you fill in something, or what I happen, actually did, I probably got off the line. It's probably smarter. And then I would just cut this line. You don't want too thin a line. And it's probably better to fill it in 
you know, as you're going, you know, we could have probably done this on the first page, but you don't want too many, and you could draw more feathers. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and finish his eye. And then I'm gonna act like we've done the whole thing on the next video and show you how, how this would cut out. So make sure you get rid of those little lines. One more right there. Whoop. Zoom in is always the best. That little bitty line. It doesn't really matter. The smart fill tool will probably fill around that anyway. But that looks pretty good. Let's say that's what that's let's just say that's all we're gonna cut out. So in the next video, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit more and then I'm gonna show you how you could uh, actually cut this out. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.